Good morning, this is Akashwani Kohima, the morning news read by Ningninem Hang Singh. Nagaland Governor La Ganesan yesterday graced the award distribution ceremony of Pavi Visa program at Ramakrishna Spiritual and Cultural Academy, Perambulu, Tamil Nadu. The governor addressing the gathering emphasized on the merits of Margazi month songs and highlighted the benefits that come from fasting during the month of Margazi. The governor handed over the award and certificates to the winners and further congratulated and motivated the students to read more with a religious mind. The Konyak Union, KU, has expressed concern over the alarming rise of dengue cases in Mon District. In a press release, the KU said, dengue cases has overwhelmed the Lone District Hospital, which has resulted in acute shortages of medical personnel and facilities. The union said, there is an average of 50 cases per day and the total number of cases has risen to 678. It said, 289 patients are currently admitted in the district hospital, while 200 has been referred to medical Medical facilities outside the district. The KU said that dengue outbreak has claimed more than COVID-19 and has urged the state government and all stakeholders to prioritize the problem and address the crisis. Meanwhile, the KU and the Konyak Nyupu Shekokong, the apex Konyak women body, visited the district hospital yesterday to assess the situation firsthand. The unions, as per their findings, demand for urgent requirements of more than five doctors to handle the increasing patient load, including the requirement of 20 nurses and five lab technicians. They also asked for immediate installation of a complete blood count machine and to necessitate the immediate functioning of the district nursing schools, MON. The union also earnestly appealed to the doctors and nurses to stand in solidarity with the people of MON at this critical time. Further, the Konyak Union implored upon the state government and the medical department to allocate necessary resources and personnel in the district. The three municipal and town councils have has resolved to appeal to the Select Committee to delete sections or clauses which may likely infringe Article 371A before the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 becomes an act. In a meeting held yesterday at Mokokchung, the three municipal and 36 town councils said they were impleaded in a civil suit for opposing the words deleted, deletion, omit and tax on land and building. They said the case is still pending in the Supreme Court. The meeting appreciated the knowledge of the government, tribal hohos, women organizations student bodies and various political parties for exception of the resolution to go ahead for election to ULB with the newly drafted Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023. They also resolved to abide by the wisdom and decision of the tribal hohos in conducting the election of urban local bodies. The municipal and town councils further appealed to the tribal hohos to identify individuals or organizations that are detrimental to the protection and preservation of Article 371A by initiating certain precautionary measures in the interest of the Nagas. The Swachita League 2.0 was launched in Kohima and Dimapur yesterday. Advisor of Tribal Affairs Tovi Hoto said, Dimapur has seen a lot of improvement in terms of cleanliness but still has a lot to do to make it a garbage-free city. He called for a collective effort of all the citizens to keep the city garbage-free. He also requested the citizens to avoid rampant dumping of garbage and littering the city. Tovi Hoto said, We cannot solely depend on the municipality alone and expressed hope that every citizen will read that dedicate themselves to the cause of Swachita to ensure ourselves a healthy mindset and healthy living in a healthy environment. MLA Dr. Silutyo Rutso said, The Indian Swachita League 2.0 is a movement to make Swach Bharat a reality in India under the branch of Swach Bharat Mission. Rutso further encouraged the students to take the opportunity to promote cleanliness and a healthy environment. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.